Hi there, John Wilkinson again, history made easier again. I posted a video on the Paris Peace Treaties that in part compared the other treaties to the Treaty of Versailles. And that got me thinking that really I should also post a video on the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk, the treaty that Germany imposed on Russia when Russia asked for an armistice. Because the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk really undermines Germany's complaints about the Treaty of Versailles, complaints that the treaty was too harsh, that the treaty made it impossible for Germany uh, to, to survive. Because the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk was much harsher than the Treaty of Versailles. Germany took a huge chunk of Russian territory. It took Finland, it took the Baltic states, it took the Polish provinces, and it took the Ukraine. And this amounted to a loss of a third of Russia's population. And as I said in that other video, People, a loss of people, means a loss of workers, a loss of consumers, a loss of taxpayers. That alone is a huge blow to a country's economy. But Russia also lost a third of its arable land, and that was its, or amongst its best arable land, its most fertile land. It lost half of its industries. It lost somewhere between a half and three quarters of its iron reserves. It lost a quarter of its coal reserves. These are huge losses, huge. And on top of that, Germany required Russia to pay reparations, six billion marks, a huge sum of money. Not only that, but Germany required uh, Russia to disarm its Black Sea fleet and to keep it in its ports. And so, as you can see, uh, the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk when compared to the Treaty of Versailles, it's very similar in its, in its characteristics. And I could add that it was a diktat. It was imposed on Russia. And not a lot of negotiation there. Um, but not only does it compare, it, it compares as uh, something worse than the Treaty of Versailles. So I think something for you to think about if you face a question that um, asks you to consider the fairness of the Treaty of Versailles or the German reaction to the Treaty of Versailles. But for now, as always, I thank you for listening. And as always, I ask you to check out my History Made Easier website. Cheers.